Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. I'd say get to know your mayor, Camarillo Mayor Charlotte Craven, but this is her sixth term as mayor, and you've been on the city council right. nearly 30 years. <laughs> wow! But who's counting? <laughs> Everybody knows you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Well, you, this is your first time in the new term, right? Uh, That's right. First day. How, how do you like it so far? Uh, this term is going great. <laughs> <laughs> I was only selected last night. <laughs> okay. Well, what are some of the issues you're dealing with now? Right now in Camarillo, the biggest issue we're dealing with, I believe, is the Conejo Creek development. But we're also... Uh, looking at maybe another round of BRAC at the military base. The military base is the largest uh, employer in Ventura County. Many of those people live in Camarillo. And what is BRAC? What do you mean by that? Base realignment and closure. There was a 1994 and a 1998 round and another round and this would be a further round and with the fiscal cliff looming who knows what the federal government's going to do. But that would have a big jolt and a big economic impact to Should Camarillo the, and all of Ventura County. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got BRAC. And what about RPD 21? RDP 21, Regional Defense Partnership for the 21st Century. That is a group of people, uh, not military people, although we partner with them, uh, civilians who and elected officials from the various cities around the base who have come together, we've been together since about 1992, and we have, we go back to Washington, D.C. every year and lobby, trying to get more tenant activities to this base. This base is unique. It has the air component of the Navy, the surface or the water component. It has, uh, it's the only Navy base that has a railhead, a sea range, the largest sea range in the world, and uh, an airstrip. It has the CBs and the air side. It's, it's, it's unique and with everything shifting to the Pacific right now, it's a very important base. So we fight to keep this base mm -hmm. open. We fight to bring more tenant activities as things are shifted. You know, when so much in the last BRAC was shifted to China Lake, we worked really hard to bring more tenant activities on so that the base itself didn't go down in size. Was that something you dealt with 27 years ago? No. Do you know, all of these... Uh, we started in 90... You do the math. <laughs> in 92. I just wondered if uh, some of these things have been tabled or delayed all these years. Uh, the issues change. We look at different activities that might have a possibility of coming here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a constantly yeah, changing evolving. thing. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Camarillo Ranch out there. Okay. There's a foundation to keep it going. There sure is. The city of Camarillo owns the, the ranch. They own the house and they own the barn. They own the property. But they set up a foundation to operate the ranch. So they're like a contractor, but they are the operators of the ranch. Uh, they put on weddings. They put. They actually, their first job was to completely redo the inside. The outside is the city's responsibility because we own it, but uh, we keep the termites out and all that kind of stuff. But they went back and found uh, little strips of original wallpaper. They uh, went to the manufacturers and got the wallpaper remade. They have refurnished that and they have weddings and events there. Sounds beautiful. Camarillo Mayor Charlotte Craven. Wish we had more time, but thanks for joining us anyway here on Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw.